हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ ब्रेड मेकिंग वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ब्रेड मेकिंग इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस एंड दिस इज द पार्ट फिफ्थ नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस फॉल्ट्स एंड वेरियस ब्रेड्स व्हिच आर बीन यूज्ड इन बेकरीज एंड व्हिच आर बीन यूज्ड बाय यू एज अ कस्टमर इन द मार्केट तो लेट्स स्टार्ट बेसिक फॉल्ट्स इन ब्रेड समटाइम some changes will arise during the production of bread which will be different from normal bread quality standard it is known as a bread fault the following are most possible cause for bread faults in bread making it can be wrong quality of raw material and wrong quality or quantity or inaccurate measurement inadequate knowledge about raw material and their functions unbalanced formula and wrong processing can also lead up fault in bread incorrect lime and temperature for fermentation and proving conditions incorrect method of knock back dividing molding and panning can also lead a fault in a bread improper baking temperature time and humidity is also one kind of uh, reason which can lead to a bread fault in adequate cooling before slicing and packaging can also lead a fault in a bread improper storage condition if we not store it properly it can also lead to a fault like uh, it can be like a disease also mold and rope can be uh, comes in a bread uh, less knowledge skill and experience of a baker is also necessary to overcome any of the faults a skilled baker examines the bread carefully and by reasoning deduction elimination and if necessary by experimentation he should be able to detect the cause of fault and subsequently find the solution the bread faults are classified into two broader ways they are external and internal faults we will discuss both of the faults in brief in our next slides external faults external faults are basically those faults which can be seen from the outer of your bread like you can see the volume you can see the color you can see the crust that's all comes under the external faults which can be seen from the outer layers of outer shape and size of your bread there are various uh, faults like lack of volume lack of volume is the major cause of this fault is that your uh, dough that is too tight or a little quantity of yeast is used a too much of salt will cause under ripening conductive to small quantity right if you using a higher amount of salt it will uh, give a less Uh, fermentation and that will lead to a lack in a volume flour with low maltose will also produce a bread of less than normal volume over bleached flour or the excessive use of chemical improvers will also lead to a fault which is lack in volume next is too much volume dough with low salt content can lead to a too much of volume excess final proofing loose molding excessive salt decrease the stability of gluten excessively slack dough also produce bread with excess volume this can be adjusted by altering the proofing time a cool oven cause fermentation to continue in oven therefore there will be a too much oven spring and that can also lead a too much volume next is lack of crust color that means your color is too pale or your color is too dark if it is a pale that can be a reason of uh, low uh, cool oven render the loaf color the other cause of lack of color may be uh, over ripened dough due to extended fermentation period all sugar is used up right excess water content lack of maltose or sugar that means if your sugar is less as as we have discussed above that over ripened dough if your sugar is been used by yeast it can also lead a pale color 
lack of salt is also a reason for a uh, too pale color on a crust if we have excess crust color likely cause are insufficient fermentation excessive use of sugar fault might have been milled uh, and lead uh, from sprouted weeds it can be a, a reason baking too quickly and at too high a temperature can also lead a color too dark of your crust next is shell top or shelling of your top crust this is due to the formation of a crust on top of the loaf before maximum expansion has taken to place the pressure from within the loaf experts itself ex, uh, itself in such a way that the top of the loaf lift in a form of lid and that is reason that it is a shelling of the top happens cracking of crust cracking of crust can happen due to dough skinning before baking short process of bread preparation cool or overproof dough uneven baking temperature can lead to a crack on a crust crust is too thick poor quality or too strong flour is used and right method is not used too little sugar or fat less diastic activity in flour can also lead to a, a crust too thick over fermented dough or old dough can also lead to a thick crust too low oven temperature that means if your temperature is too low for bread uh, baking that can also lead, lead to a thick crust crust is too hard uh too much strong flour is used low fat in a formula excess water in the formula can lead to a, a hard crust over mixing after water has been added insufficient fermentation too much of improver or bleaching agents are used next is crust blister too much of liquid is used that can also lead to this fault improper mixing loose molding young dough under fermented dough is prepared excessive top heat in oven can lead to this fault next is leathery crust too strong flour used or too slack dough used insufficient cooling before packing uneven fermentation can also lead to this fault excessive humidity during proofing or baking can lead to a fault insufficient kneading is also one of the reason for leathery crust irregularity of shapes too strong or weak flour is used wrong quality of water that means alkaline water the hard water is used less bread improvers improper mixing over or under both rough handling the dough and too slack or stiff dough is used for uh, bread making over ripened dough that means your dough is uh, over fermented or over ripened that can also lead to a irregularity of shapes other than this there are various reasons like if your mold is not properly clean you you have not not handled your bread properly there are finger marks there are some other dust or dirt you are not properly using on a hygienic condition that can also lead to some of the external faults also now we will discuss the internal faults internal faults are the faults which are basically inside the bread as you can see i have posted a, a, a snap over here which has been cut down into two Uh, the top one is uh, here, and the inner uh, bread texture is been seen on this picture. But there can be some uh, faults inside the bread also, like holes and tunnels. The first fault can be like uh, it is majorly seen holes and tunnels in the bread. 
if you are using very weak flour or you are using a strong flour that can lead to a holes and tunnels too much of yeast if you are using too much of yeast too hard and granular fat is used you are not using a melted fat or too granular fat is being used too little of salt if you are using a little salt in a bread making that will lead to high fermentation and that will cause a tunnels and holes in a bread if you are not using your steps properly like improper processing is used at the time of knockback uh, you have not divided it properly moldings are not done properly and yes you have handled it very uh, unethical manner that can also lead to a holes and tunnels in the bread next is poor taste and flavor there can be various reason for this poor quality of raw material poor quality of flour too much of salt too much or low salt uh, too low sugar too much yeast over fermented or under fermented dough dough temperature too high dough temperature too low it can be various reasons due to which a taste and flavor can lead to a, a poor flavored right coarse grains that means the texture of your grains is not proper that means you have used too much of yeast that yeast is used in a very high quantity too much liquid is used uneven mixing of raw material is done under mixing of dough is done improper fermentation is done overproof dough can lead to this reason of fault grey crumb now grey crumb is basically due to excess fat or excess or less salt if used and if we are using some mineral improvers that are uh, excess in temperature less moisture content if used slack dough or tight dough sticky crumb insufficient of water improper mixing poor makeup molding panning all beautification is done very poor way too much dusting is done while uh, uh, doing a final stage of your bread making and lead to a sticky crumbs poor keeping quality poor quality of flour is used insufficient salt sugar and fat is used too much improvers are used too stiff dough too high dough temperature can lead to a poor keeping quality poor texture too weak flour too little salt excess fat and water insufficient quantity of yeast too much of improvers wrong quality of water that means hard water is used improper mixing is done that all can lead to a poor texture now as you, we have gone through all of the basic faults the next is this is the basic table view of fault in bread making right you can you can just have a, have a short look on this and you can prepare a short notes by using of this types of bread in we have various type of breads which have been used in various bakeries we have basic breads like plain white loaf we have oatmeal rolls we have bloomers in a flat bread we have chapatis prantha pita lavash crumpets english muffins in a quick bread we have blueberry muffin gingerbread date and apple loaf in fried and dough breads we have donuts a very good example of fried dough savory bread we have pagles sibata grishni focaccia bagels and fruit and nuts bread we have sandra saffron bun we have walnut bread in festival bread we have stonal stolen we have kogelov we have host crust hot cross buns in sour and dry bread sour dough is basically a very older style of uh, dough making uh, in that we have pepernickel breads and rich dough we have croissant Sally Lunch, ba Babas, Sabrins. These are the various types of breads which have been used in bread uh, bakers uh, to make bread types. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the end of the video session of bread making. Hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you very much.